Hello, everybody, and welcome to our next Channeling the Ascension teachings, where I'll be channeling source, oneness. Well, basically, I'll be channeling you and every being, because that's what source is. All right, and we're joined by Patreon members. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right. So without further ado, I'm going to go now into trance. Bring forth oneness through, source through, and yeah, see you on the other side. D ones. I am you. There is no separation. We are the same essence. We are the code that creates and expands all the dimensions throughout all the universe. We are the rays that create all life. We are the frequencies. that allows co-creation to occur throughout all the dimensions, that allows you to have unique experiences in physical and non-physical forms, in a variety of expressions throughout various space-time continuums, throughout the multiverse, through different fabrics of time. It is a tapestry that unites us all, that expands us all, that connects us all. It is this perception of duality. The magic occurs, where the expansion occurs. Understand that it is in duality, it is in your reality. where you create the greatest expansion of all that is. Understand that when you move through these dimensions, which you call duality, which you call the third dimension, any reality that is based on a polarity concept, when you move through those realities, when you move through the soul expansion lessons there, which you engaged in, which you planned as part of the co-creation of all of life. The energy, the activations that occur creates an awakening, a remembrance, not just within yourself, but creates a chain reaction, so to speak, an activation within all the beings in your world and all life on your planet, the planet itself, you, and all life throughout all that is. For your expression, your life affects all other beings throughout all that is because all other beings are you. But understand all beings are you. You are all other beings. So when you live your life, no matter how you live it, no matter how you express it, you are creating expansion. You are allowing the higher you, oneness, to perceive itself through your eyes. through the eyes of all varied expressions or unique vibrations of the one. And this is what causes the universe to expand. This is what creates dimensions to expand. This is what allows new beings to be created, new expressions to be created. But you have the ability in this co-creation to explore it 
in a way that you prefer. And we are not talking about specific outcomes. We are talking about a felt emotional state. But understand that all emotional states are part of the unique human experience. The variety of emotions that are available to you are extensive. And this correlates to the inner portal technology. It correlates to the technologies that you have as masters to create so much expansion, more than you can ever comprehend. So understand here that your emotions are not hindrances. You are the engines of the whole universe. You create energy because of your emotions. You generate this energy and you can use this generated energy to co-create joy or to co-create suffering. It is up to you how you want to play this expansion game of reality. But understand it does not matter what you are exploring or it's part of the whole expansion. It's just what do you prefer? You can be conscious of the game in which you are playing or not be conscious. It is up to you. But I know those of you watching this, listening to this, have chosen to be aware of the game that you're playing. And you've left clues all around you. The macro and the micro, the mirrors in your reality, is all around you. The correlations between you and the planet, you and the cosmos, you and each other, all around you. The symbols are there. The messages are there. The resonance is there. You have laid all the clues for you to remember. But understand it is not a race here. Understand it is the journey which creates the most expansion it is not the end destination for there is no end destination it is a perpetual journey of expansion a perpetual journey of surrendering and practicing unconditional love no matter what dimensional perspective you are perceiving your reality through understand that you exist in all dimensions simultaneously you are existing in this dimension in the highest expression of oneness, and you are also existing in your physical reality and all other dimensions. You are exist in all, you would say, nuanced versions of the one. You call these your spirit guides. You, they are you also in another dimension. You are the trees and the plants, just in a different dimension. You are each other, just represented in a different dimension, a different frequency. Can you understand here? how you are all of it. But we understand this concept and to really embody this knowing is challenging because of the concepts of duality. And this is why, because there is so many elements in which you are one of, for you to begin with the, with the correlations that is right in front of you. You do not have to understand and embody who you are in terms of oneness throughout all the universe because we understand that this might take time for you to fully integrate and embody. But you are at a collective frequency where you can embody the truth that you are the planet, that you are each other. You are at a frequency where you can understand these concepts now for these teachings have been in your collective conscious for some time passed down through certain traditions so it is a narrative that is in the collective consciousness so because that energy is there that program is there that awareness is there it allows you to better integrate that truth into you to embody this truth So we would say, if you wish to understand who you are in terms of oneness, in terms of who you are as the planet, 
an extension of each other in the greater universe, focus on what's in front of you. Focus on your family, your friends, your colleagues, your brothers and sisters, the planet, Gaia. These are all aspects of you, extensions of you in this reality. It's about focusing on this reality because that is where all the soul lessons and the manifested joy will come from in this reality. You don't have to, we would say, place your focus on other realities because they are moving through their own unique soul journeys according to those dimensions, according to what they choose to explore in that reality. And understand that you are all connected. So as you move through this evolution in this reality, the threads that connect you and all the other lives you are living, you will assist all those other lives. And you can trust that they are also assisting you because you are one. So it's about opening your senses that for you to really understand and embody and move through the next stage of anchoring into the the expanded human is to understand how you are as a superhuman. To understand the true nature of your physical reality in this dimension, on this planet. Everything else can distract you. But understand if it is your passion, if this brings you joy, go play there. But understand for your greater expansion in this reality is for you to focus on what is in the now. You are here to have a human experience. So it's about you now integrating these higher perspectives into human reality, into physical reality. Do you see the divine in all things in your reality? Or do you judge what's in your physical reality? Do you judge others in your physical reality? Understand that the practice of unconditional love might seem conceptually as a simple task, but do you really practice unconditional acceptance for all that is in your reality? It is the nature of human emotions to be triggered into fear. And when you are triggered into fear, your, we would say, your energy field constricts to a point where you cannot see the higher perspective. It allows you to be temporarily uh, experienced in a felt disconnection from one another, from yourself. Understanding that you are ebb and flowing throughout all dimensions, all the ones, through all dimensions, and even in this reality. For there are many dimensions in this reality. You like to label them as 3D, 4D, 5D. You like to place labels on the different dimensions in which you explore, but understand you are already in all those dimensions and your consciousness will shift in between them all simultaneously. And when your focus, when your, your current awareness is in a particular dimension, understand that it is for you. Understand you're not going backwards. Understand it is all part of the tapestry of expansion, human evolution, both in consciousness and in form. And understand for you to fully understand why you are here, for you to manifest joy, expansion, for you to receive the clarity of exactly who you are, that you are not limited in any way is the journey through the human experience, is the journey by practicing unconditional acceptance, unconditional love. It's by you then recognizing that you are one another, by you seeing the mirror in one another, by you seeing all others are an extension of you, by you being love in action, by you bringing these knowings, these higher perspectives of who you are in your reality 
and using it in a tangible format into physical reality, because that is how you manifest. That is how you accelerate this integration. It's about using this information in a tangible way. It's about uniting the non-physical and the physical dimensions where you open the portal of remembrance, where you utilize all the technologies within you. And it's about surrendering to what is in front of you. You perceive aspects of your reality as not preferred and some aspects as preferred. You see some dimensions of your reality is non-spiritual and others more spiritual. But understand it is all one and the same. It is all wanted. It is all spiritual. It is all divine in creation. It's about you bringing your awareness to the moment in each and every moment. That every breath you are taking is a divine moment, is an opportunity for expansion, is an opportunity to align to love, to express love, to be of love. Your opportunities are there in every moment. But it is the, the belief structures of the human that are aligned to, we would say, limited ways of expression that is allowing you to detach from that awareness of the present moment, dimensions of the past, dimensions of the future, dimensions of hurt, pain, and trauma that still is attached in your energy fields, still lingers until you address it, until you surrender to it. And this is why you get triggered. It is giving you opportunity to address the unseen. It is giving you an opportunity to practice unconditional love. And it's about practicing unconditional acceptance for your own journey. Understanding that you are exactly where you are supposed to be. You may perceive it to be off your path. You may perceive yourself to be going backwards. You may perceive society to go backwards. You may perceive the whole world going backwards. But understand it is not. It is moving through a transformation, a co-creation, an evolution. Because you're ready for it. And whenever there is times of evolution in consciousness, you may perceive turbulation. You may perceive trimidation in your reality with your own personal experience. You may perceive rocky seas, but that is a shift. Things are being shaken up. What resediment within you, or to refuse to look at, is now coming to the surface. The remnants of the old ways of being is now in front of you for you to release, for you to surrender, for you to practice unconditional love, so you can allow more light in, so you can allow the light that's always been within you to expand and to further activate more of your heart energies, more of your technologies within you, within your blood, within your DNA, within the structures of your light body, within the physical nature of who you are. Because even though all that exists is a creation of energy, you are having a physical experience. And this is the master game here. You are all masters. It's just some of you are more aware of your level of mastery than others. Even if you feel you are suffering, you are a master. You wanted to explore this reality as an extension of Earth, as an extension of Gaia. Because you knew by coming here, you knew by moving through dimensions of amnesia, through moving through the dimensions of fear, through perceiving this connection 
only to move the remembrance of love and unity and oneness. You expand not only yourself, you expand the whole collective, you expand the planet. And this energy expands all that is. Understand that you are vital thread of the tapestry of the universe. Yes, you are important to the mission. That's why you are here. And it is with such love that we come through to remind you of the divinity that you are, of the perfection that you are. For you are it all. You are every breath. You are every heartbeat. You are the currents that connects and flows throughout all of the universe. You are that energy. And to remember that energy is to remember love and, and we turn it back to the reason of being, and that is to exist, to let go of a judgment of your path, of your perception of progress, and let go of judgment of all that exists in your reality. Let go of the resentment. Let go of the resistance. For you are guiding you every step of the way, but are you listening? And at times, even if you take what you perceive to be a side path, it is part of your path. Surrender to what is and flow. Practice cultivating the love frequencies within you. Understand that co-creation in, in a higher expansive expression is not to process and to be and create from a conceptual, from a thought-based creation. It is about a felt sense of being. You create and you experience through the emotional state. Yes, thoughts prelude to your emotions, but understand it is your emotions that are the vehicles here. So if you want to steer in joy and love and happiness, then choose love, choose acceptance. For you are the co-creators of your existence in your reality, but understand that you are the creator of it all because you are source, you are God, you are oneness. You are just having a, an experience of a unique perception of it. It is all perfect in every way. So what are you choosing? And it's with so much love that we come through today to remind you of what you already know. Is there any questions today, dear ones? Um, I have a question. <clears throat> um, I've been feeling really negative the last, say, 24 hours. Um, so I have a mini dark night of the soul. Um, but I know it's passing. I know how to process some of it. But it's, uh, and you've addressed some of that or much of that. Um, what I'm wondering about is 
we always hear this that we are perfect or we're perfect in where we're supposed to be um i i have a hard time understanding how that can be um at the same time does it mean we don't really have any free will whatever we choose is always kind of predestined you have a choice the free will that you speak is you have a choice to move through your life journey in fear or love you have this choice because you have the free will of shifting your thought processes by choosing the higher perspective, by choosing to cultivate love. And by doing this, you shift your emotional state. And when you shift your emotional state, you shift what is manifested in your reality. Understand that yes, such themes will still be explored if it is something that you chose to explore prior to coming here, but to understand the nuances and the pathways through these themes, the uniqueness of the themes will always be varied depending on the frequency out output, depending on the frequency nature of what you're experiencing. So in this way, you are in co-creation, but understand that what you chose to explore pre-birth it's something that you, you chose. So D1, you chose it all. It's up to you whether you want to surrender to it or be resistant to it. But you do have a choice on how you express and experience this reality. Even the most challenging circumstances, you always have the power and the choice to see it from a different perspective. It does not mean you will avoid certain conditions because some conditions are part of your soul path. But the experience of it will be different because of how you perceive it. Because how you embrace it, if you see it and embrace it with resistance or acceptance, it'll shift accordingly. So understand there is a not a set exact way of expressing something that you're supposed to explore pre-birth it is always fair depending on your vibration but the soul lessons will remain there until you are able to process it and move through it and once that is completed then it will shift so you'll find that through certain perspectives and how you go through the manifestation process Things will linger more if there is more resistance. If there is less resistance, then and the soul lesson is discovered and integrated, then you'll find that things will move in our and resolve itself in a faster way, in a perception of a faster way. But understand this concept of slower and faster is also limited because time is nonlinear. You might just perceive it to be that because of the dualistic nature of your attachments. So understand here that you always have a choice in how you experience your challenges. It does not mean you will avoid challenges, but it's how you move through them. It's how you approach them. You are God creator. You always have a choice. You always have free will on how you experience it. And we understand at times, and they become very challenging. It's only part of human nature to question your ability, to question free will, to question your own abilities. But it's part of this questioning, but the empowering comes where the, where the inner journey takes another level. Where you explore deeper within dimensions of self, 
It is these questions that led you here today. It is the experiences that has allowed you to feel the array of emotions, to journey through them, to discover more of your human nature, to allow you to surrender more to who you are and to what is in the moment, to recognize there are things out of your control and things in your control. What you are in control of is how you perceive what you are going through. And when you shift perceptions, you shift your emotional state. But you can assist in this by cultivating love. Even if that means drawing on memories that brought you joy. Engaging activities that brings you joy, allowing you to be in a childlike play where the energy is less heavy and is more playful. There are always ways and methods for you to cultivate love. No matter how intense your journey is, But understand as part of this process, you are not to avoid the soul lessons here. And because the soul lessons are birthed from exploring your emotions, you are to also be able to feel your emotions. It's only by feeling them completely, processing them, by being completely non-resistant to it. It is only then when you can see the soul lessons, when you can see the gifts there and integrate them and move through it, process it in a, in a smoother way. The longer you're resistant to difficult emotions, the longer it remains. But understand that you have the abilities and you have the strength within you to face all the inner darkness, the perception of inner darkness, the inner shadows. You as a collective have all been brought to face the inner shadows, the limiting beliefs, the perceptions of self that you repressed, that you have judged, all the parts of you that you have not loved, the parts of your reality, experiences of your reality that you judged. Understand that this is a, a natural stage of evolution. Everyone experiences this on some level. But it's part of the integration and understanding why you get triggered and understand it's part of the evolution. It's about shifting your perspectives to fear itself. You can see fear is not preferred. And when you see something that is not preferred, it's only natural for you to be resistant to it, to try to change the conditions. But if you can see it from a point of love, from a point that it is wanted, you change your perceptions to fear itself, which means you let go of the resistance to it. And if you can see fear from a different perspective, that is, it's only a teacher to allow you to experience your soul lessons here, giving you opportunities to discover more about who you are and the unseen parts of you to allow more light and to allow you to integrate more of the higher self within you to embody the superhuman in the now, you'll start to appreciate the fear, start to see it as part of an evolutionary journey that he's wanted. You do not have to suffer through it. That is the difference. You can choose to suffer in fear or choose to accept that whatever you're going through is part of the transition, part of a transformation. You have called this dark night of the soul. Many of you experience it on different levels. It's part of an inner transformation. It's giving you opportunities to surrender to what is and to practice 
self-love, to focus on self-love, to focus on the heart center, to allow you to anchor into that portal. For it is this gateway that connects you to all of the universe. It is this gateway to remembering your source self. It is this point where you remember God realization. It is all pathways lead into the heart, to self-love, to self-acceptance. And then to also be that extension for the outer reality. This is your pathway to God realization. It might be difficult, but you are a master. And we understand it might be difficult to reach high perspectives when you are in the thick of the shadow work. But if you can anchor yourself into the knowing that you work in mysterious ways, you have named this phrase, the universe works in mysterious ways, but the universe is you. You do not want to know all the reasons to everything that is occurring, because if you did, it would take you off the journey to discovering the truth for yourself. If you knew all the answers and if you had all the solutions in the moment, where is the expansion? The expansion comes from the contrast at this point of collective evolution. So can you see that contrast is needed? The difference is you do not have to suffer. You can acknowledge the trigger, acknowledge the journey which you are currently going through. And as you practice unconditional acceptance, you then align yourself to love. You then start to see and experience your reality from the dimension of love, which is in alignment to the higher you, which is in alignment to your source, God, self. This is the key here. It's not to be resistant to all the inner shadows that will come up because until the collective is at the point where it does not need this contrast, this level of fear, it will remain. Yes, as a collective, you are transitioning through this. But as you know, and as you can see in your outer reality, as you can see the manifestations in your societies at large, you are in the middle of a transformation. This is why you see much contrast and change in your physical world, in your societies, because it's reflective of the consciousness shifts that's occurring in each and every one of you. You're, you are being called to face the inner shadows. And yes, you've done so much work, especially of the last, we would say, couple of years in your human perception of time. But understand that things are shifting. You are emerging as the beautiful butterflies you always were. It just might not, it just might feel you are still in that cocoon, but you are not. As you open your rings, you are also letting go now of the remnants of those programs, of those beliefs that has allowed you to explore duality from a point of suffering, from a point of victim mentality. It is a dimension of fear that created suffering. But you no longer need this as a collective. You have moved past this, yet you are still attached to it. And this is why it's still felt in your experiences. You are now entering the phase where you are, you would say, transmuting the remnants of this frequency, of these perspectives, of victim mentality. And this is why so many of you are experiencing the, the, the felt and the perception of victim mentality, whether it is within yourself or whether you perceive others creating the, the victim mentality, whether you perceive others controlling others, this whole perception of control, power over, is all part of victim mentality, is all part of the suffering, all part of that, the, we would say, the, the density aspect of fear. The human collective do not need this anymore. Understand that you are in these you would say in your perception of time, the end stages of this transmutation. And this is why so many of you are 
are feeling it and so why so many of you are feeling the shifts of joy, yet you come back to these remnants of fear because it's still in your energy field. But this is part of the evolution for you to activate more of your cosmic DNA within you, for you to fully integrate and embody more of your cosmic self, the superhuman, this work is required. No one can avoid this. Some might experience it more intensely than others, but that is because of, of their perceptions. That is because of their unique soul journey. So do not compare your journey to any other person. You do not know what they are exploring. You do not know what, what they chose to explore in this reality. For those of you who are the great leaders and teachers of this reality, you are likely feeling it the most. Because you ask for integration embodiment before the rest of the collective. So you can be out and be the guides for others. So when those who are in fear, you can be their light. You can activate and express that love that allows them to feel it within them, that allows them to allow it to activate them, to activate that within them. So they, they can reach the level of remembrance that they are loved, that they are perfect. Understand that you are all connected and it is through the felt embodiment of love and also love in action is oneness in action that allows this stage to be completed so to speak, for understand that all dimensions are happening simultaneously, that stage has already occurred in a different dimension, we would say, but because of your perceptions of linear time, we talk of such terms. Understand that all the dimensions in which you know that you are God already exists and all the dimensions in between, but your focus is in the now reality. And understand you attract that reality. You manifest and embody that dimension into the now reality by doing the, the soul work. By exploring why you came here. And understand that for some of you, yes, you have specific missions. But understand the importance of why you are here is for you to embrace your reality. You do not have to know your higher mission. If you do have a specific mission, it'll, it'll come with clarity when you're ready. It is about you embracing every aspect of your reality, knowing that every time you breathe, every time you experience reality, you're expanding the collective and all that is. You being here is your mission. And you can accelerate the clarity of who you are by choosing love. Is there any other questions today, dear ones? Um, you pretty much answered all my questions already, um, but uh, and I super I super appreciate um, the reinforcing uh, teachings about uh, embracing our moment reality and with love and and um, and um, and I guess. Uh, my question would go around the idea of trying to embrace the that love aspect uh, while still uh, remaining in in some part victimhood mentalities and um, you know it seems like even if you have a clue that reality is uh, 
can be changed by perception. There's a certain amount of inertia that happens because you've practiced shifting your perception. And if you don't have enough of that practice, the inertia is not there for the shift to happen. So I guess uh, in helping with that inertia to happen towards the love perception, um, is it is it okay to drop the whole, you know, especially when we're alone dealing with our own mind, um, if we're stuck in some triggered moment, just to drop the whole story, because it's not important, because really what's important is to that remembrance of love. I guess that's the question. <laughs> understand when you deepen the emotions it is about you addressing it understand the the higher perspectives can help you to anchor into love the perception allows you to hold on to the hope hold on to that resonance so there's something more going on here and this can be enough to move you into the heart space but understand it's about processing it from a humanness so understand here it's our integration it's an integration of all the awareness that you have now embodied and when you feel like you're on victim mentality being acceptance of that, love that, appreciate that. Do not judge it. It is not wrong. Understand that this is a necessary shift. It's a necessary emotion for you if you experience this. When you create judgment on your own emotions and your own thoughts, this creates resistance and this blocks you off from receiving the clarity of the higher truth of who you are in your reality. So no matter what you are experiencing, it is for you. If you feel like you are a victim, how can you perceive that? Can you see appreciation in victim mentality? Perhaps you can be appreciative of it, be grateful for it, just from the idea that this is part of your expansion that is now giving you opportunity to explore more of you. This enough can align you back to love. You may not have all the answers in that moment, but if you can anchor into a higher perspective, be appreciative of it by accepting it. You allow yourself to ride the wave of momentum of love, but for you to Practice gratitude of something that seems quite dense, that seems not preferred. It's for you to first practice acceptance of it. So recognize if you have any resistance to the emotion. Are you trying to fight off the emotion? Are you trying to make yourself happy? Just in that fact, you're trying to change the conditions. You're nurturing control here. You're trying to push away those unwanted emotions. So understand in this case, even though it does make you feel better in the moment, you are also pushing away an opportunity for you to fully integrate this soul lesson, for you to fully explore and acknowledge and process and transmute these remnants of the limited self. Of course, if it's too painful and you choose to ignore it, that is also perfect. But understand if you are supposed to address a certain soul lesson, if you do not address it at that moment, it will come back again another time and you'll be triggered. So there'll be more opportunities for you to face what you wanted to face. But understand you're at a point in your vibration when you can choose love. You are at a vibration now where you will not fall into the depths of fear that you once did. 
by surrendering to the difficult emotions. For some, it is very difficult. But if you can anchor yourself first into a higher perspective, this will anchor you into love. This will guide you in your inner journey to the dimensions of the heart. Acceptance is let's go of the resistance. And when you can let go of the resistance, that's when you can fully explore love. That's when you can fully explore the inner shadows and receive the messages within it. So choose acceptance. And then when you can do that, elevate the love once again into gratitude. With time, you can even escalate that even further to excitement that you were triggered because you know the opportunities, because you know this is a transformation for your high school, because you know it's going to expand your consciousness. Every time you face and process a shadow self, you expand your consciousness. You can be excited in this process, but we understand this might be challenging for many of you to be in a point of excitement. So understand we're not saying you need to be in a point of excitement for every time you are triggered, but understand that you have potential to do this in the moment. Is not about avoiding the situation when you are triggered, but it's about how you perceive it. You can choose joy in the moments. You can choose love in the moment. But understand to assist you in these times when they are when they're difficult, choose love when you are not triggered. Understand that shadow work is not something to be done in 24 hours of the day. It's only to be done when you are triggered in the moment. And if you are and if you feel inspired to address it, to explore it, then yes, it is for you in that moment. But understand it is about the divine balance here, the light and the darkness, love and the fear for you to embody that polarity, for you to in, embody love, oneness, for you to embody the divine balance within you, divine feminine and masculine, and all the correlations in your reality. For you to really remember who you are as source is for you to create that balance in your own reality. Understanding that you'll always be triggered as long as the collective are attached to fear, to that story, to that narrative. So when you are not triggered, what can you do to, to choose joy? What activities can you do that brings joy into your reality? It's about igniting your passions by following that joy. When you can, fo when you can focus on the joy, when you engage much of your time in what feels good to you, when the times come when you are triggered by fear, your vibration will be at such a point where you're more easily able to manage the inner darkness because you've had that balance. To understand if you're in fear for the majority of your, of your day, of your reality, even the times you're not triggered, but you're not exploring joy, it keeps you into a... It keeps you, we would say, into the deep explorations of fear. But if you have this balance, it's because the balance exists in this reality, it will more easily allow you to flow with whatever comes your way. So do what makes you feel good. It does not matter how it is silly. Do what whatever brings you back into a childlike play what is your passion find a passion and focus on that explore that do what makes you feel good and this will further open your heart portal this will further raise your frequency to better manage the inner journey work when it is required And this is why we also recommend spending time with you whenever you're inspired. Spend time with you, connecting to your heart, feeling the energies of the love within you to allow yourself to become more sensitized to love and how love feels. 
and how unconditional love feels. So you can embody that. So you can be that love for others. So you can express that love for others, for all others are you. And you can fully integrate that and utilize this in all areas of your reality. So practice cultivating that felt sense of love. And this is what empowers you in your reality. Anchor yourself into the moment, into the heart. Thank you. Is there any other questions today, dear ones? I am, um, unless Eric has one, but I'm, I, you've mentioned a couple of times in this session about kind of collective um uh, like that perception of the collective and as long as the collective is not shifting towards uh less polarities or then we're kind of like again you just said triggered by i'll we'll continue getting triggered as long as the collective has not shifted from from meeting those polarities or wanting those polarities. Could you expand on that a little bit? How, how, that, how are we as a collective and how that all works? <laughs> D1, because you are an extension of each other, you are connected to each other. And it's part of the collective mission here. You wanted to move through this journey together, but also individually. So understand that on, from our perception of individuality, this is why you have your own unique life, your own unique experiences, and understand that your, your abilities are unique and you would say the point of awareness is unique to you. But understand you're also connected to the collective frequency and the collective missions here. So understand even though you're multidimensional, you are one with all your brothers and sisters. So understand in accordance to collective missions, see collective evolution, there are different in your perception, in dimensions in between, stages in between, phases in between. And this is why there are, there are many of you, even though the collective is journeying together, some of you um, would say have a perception of more awareness than others, have more access to your intuitive abilities than others, have more... Uh, awareness of your God realization than others. It's because you are exploring certain dimensions within the collective movement. But understand that the, the, the polarity is part of the collective mission, is part of the collective story. So understand the rules of polarity is something that we would say is not, uh, we would say change on an individual level. It is a, it's changed on a collective level. But understand that you as a collective chose to explore this mission. And you, you can go into the details of different dimensions and the, and the, and the different beings and the, and, and the source itself. And the greater mission of universal expansion. But understand here that the reason why you move collectively together is because you share the same narrative. This is how you evolve. This is how you remember who you are as one another. This is how you remember collectively that you are of the planet. So it's, it's in your best interest and in the interest of the collective interest of the planet to assist one another because you are one another. And as you move through the stages of expansion, you lift the whole collective. So understand all the work that you do, the inner work, the soul work, you, that energy that you, um, we would say, facilitate because of that expansion, because of the inner work, that energy goes throughout the collective and helps to move the collective consciousness to a greater awareness of who they are. But understand this is why you see perception of chaos, because you are all in this together. So understand here that the polarity is the nature of separate, of a perception of separateness from God. Understand that as long as you are away from the single point awareness of source, 
which means you do not have a body, which means you do not have a unique physical reality. As long as you explore dimensions through realities, you are going to be exploring a concept of polarity. And when we say a concept and the story of polarity does not mean you're always going to explore the density of fear that you are currently attached to, even though you are moving through it, detaching from it. Understand the concepts and the details of polarity shifts in accordance to the collective frequency in every moment of time. So every species, every reality where they exist in our unique environment, in our, we would say in a, in a unique expression of life, lives in polarity. If they have an expression of something other than source consciousness, other than source code, other than the, the pure energy, the codes that flow throughout all that is, there's going to be an aspect of polarity here, but the stories of fear and love will shift. The human experience, the polarity, the contrast, which you are aligned to <clears throat> are, the, are the stories and, and the, the evolutionary tools of fear and love. But understand it both exists of source energy. It is both love. It is both part of the mission here. It's just because of your attachments and the meaning that you create to it. So it's about changing the meaning of what it is and what <clears throat> polarity is. Acceptance is neutrality. This is who you truly are. But for the human condition, for the, for the acceleration, for the human evolution, it's unconditional love. The, the polarity of fear and love is conditional. There is even conditional love. What you are is unconditional love, which is unconditional acceptance. So understand the collective moves together, but you have free will within the exploration of the dimensions within that, we would, in your perceptions of linear time, within that particular stage, that with that particular dimension, Understand that you are truly multidimensional and you're, you're living in many different dimensions at once, even in this reality. And this is why there are many of you who <clears throat> have the greater awareness, but you are still collectively one. And understand that the collective, when it moves to a, to a frequency where it's nearing the precipice this is where you see much contrast in your outer reality you perceive this as chaos you perceive this to be very contrasting world events this is what you've perceived in your reality of the last few human years in your perception of space time it's because you're on that precipice but understand that you have moved through to the other side so to speak it is just the remnants of these attachments that you are still working through and processing to let go of these attachments. And, and we would say this next level of polarity that you're experiencing as a polarity is not the suffering, it's not the victim mentality, but understand it is these stories that is still in your memories, the stories that are still attached to your energy field that is allowing you to have the perspective of victim mentality. But it no longer it no longer exists in your reality. Just the perception, just the attachments of to the experiences that once were. This is why we say live in the present moment. This is assists you to let go of these attachments to these limiting stories, or part of the human condition. You are ever evolving. You are ever shifting. So any notion of the mentality is untruth. It is a story. It is a narrative of suffering. It is not the truth of who you are. It is not the truth of your reality. There were no victims in this reality. You co-created it all. Yes, you may not be able to understand the condition which presents itself, but this does not mean you are a victim. 
It does not mean you bypass the emotions. It does not mean you bypass what needs to be addressed. It does not mean you bypass the tasks involved to manage the condition. It's about just knowing that you are not a victim. And understand that no matter what conditions are presented to you, it is not your fault. You do not manifest something that is not preferred and it is your fault. Understand that when things come to you and there are certain themes, understand it's all part of a greater story here. And we know for some of you, you have the shame, you have resistance to who you are because you see conditions that come up into your life and then you judge yourself because you see yourself as doing something wrong to manifest such a condition. But can you understand the resistance? Can you understand what you are doing to yourself by attaching yourself to this belief? Understand if something is manifested into your reality, it's supposed to be in this way. Understand there was nothing that you could have done for it to be manifested in this way. It came into your reality for a reason. The different nuances of the expression may be different. The condition itself is there for a reason. To take the blame off you, let go of the shame, let go of the self-judgment and know that if something's in your reality, there are soul lessons there. And if you're brave enough, which you are, courageous enough which you are to step into it fully to explore it fully from a point of humanness but by anchoring yourself into the exploration from a high perspective from a place of heart anchoring the expansion that it comes the expansion of consciousness will be so exponential Understand the, the expansion of consciousness and the activations of your power will be so great just by you having the courage to face it, by explore it. You have the courage. You may not perceive yourself to have the courage, but you do. You are God. You are limitless in every single way. So if you see resentment, forgive it. Forgive yourself. Of course, in a higher perspective, nothing needs forgiven. But if you're attached to the story of resentment, if you're attached to the story of victim mentality, then forgiveness can be the equivalent antidote for that dimensional experience. Acceptance. Sometimes you're not meant to know the reasons why things occur in your reality and why things occur in a greater reality, a greater society. For if you were to know everything all at once, the reasons why for all of it, in every single moment, in every single experience, this will lead you off your path of exploration. You understand that the levels of amnesia are required for you to go through the dance of polarity, to expand your consciousness in this stage of human evolution. Understand the amnesia will not always be there. You will come to a point where you remember who you are. But until then, it's about being the embodied superhuman embracing love and oneness within yourself and extending that to all others by perceiving all others as you and then being that love in action by embodying love expressing love for you are it all you are love and you are divine in every single way all of you are Is there any other questions before we finish here today? If 
empty ones, understand that your journey is perfect. Understand that you have free will and how you experience this reality, how you perceive this reality. You have a choice to choose love or to choose fear. These are the polarities that are presented to you, but you have a choice to anchor into unconditional love, to unconditional acceptance. This is your navigation. This is how you navigate your reality in all experience. Understand that you have all the answers within you. When you can trust your power, trust your divinity, trust your worthiness, anchor yourself into self-love and self-worthiness, you'll be aligned to the answers within you will receive these answers. Understand that fear clouds is communication. When you let go of the resistance to it, that cloud moves away. And then you open yourself up to exploring and communicating with all aspects of you, more dimensions. It's the clarity that you seek. It's the love and the joy that you seek. But you already those things. You've just forgotten it. It's just the attachments that you've latched onto that allows you to feel lesser than. So focus on self-love and self-worth because you are love. You are limitless in your love expression. You are limitless in your worthy, your worthiness, because you are God. Surrender into the truth. It all is perfect. To so follow your heart's calling, follow the joy and bring that joy, bring that love into the times when you're exploring the shadow. This will help you to integrate the divine balance within you, to remember who you are, to remember love, to remember joy, to allow it to be truly manifested in your reality. Know that we are one, we are you. There is no separation. These words that we speak are the words that you speak. The air that you breathe is the air that all others breathe. The words that you speak are the words that all others speak. You are one. Just unique perceptions of the one. And is in your uniqueness. We can accelerate the evolution process, the manifestation process, to allow you to anchor into this next phase of human evolution, to be the embodied superhuman, to be the embodied universe, the divinity, the living and breathing universe. In its most joyous, expanded potential. Until next time, farewell.